flight reduction yep. in power. So I'm over All right. Well Here we are with but it's gonna be Echo what we learned yeah, from Picks and Bands with Game 1 of TSM versus Team Liquid. Let's see what we got. We already got the uh, makings for a solid Protect the Cogmaw comp out of Team Liquid. That's going to put a lot of pressure. But TSM actually uh, did quite well picking up the Jinx to fight back at that pressure. And uh, although the Lulu is better for the comp, Jinx is going to kill a lot of that pressure that they would uh, normally use. It's the mid lane though. The mid lane is going to, I think, going to sway this one way or another. It, honestly, Team Liquid, <laughs> they should pick a Zier. Alright, they're not going. I hope TSM picks a Zier. If TSM picks a Zier, it's almost like game in the bag. Not really, but close. Thresh and uh, Let's talk about who they picked, though. Um, so right now, the pressure's fairly neutral. Um, Team Liquid is going to be a little bit more threatening, but TSM should be more kind of consistently threatening. Uh, that's kind of the main difference between Jinx and Kog'Maw. Um, this is a full-blown protected Cog comp, so if TSM actually comes out with a really strong assassin like Diana, Diana would wreck that. Diana, maybe... I mean, you, you could do Zed. I don't really recommend it. And then Azir. Azir, okay. So that, that actually changes things. Um, this puts it definitely more towards TSM for pressure size, which is good. But, and, you know, Azir can flex in, like, dive after the Kog'Ma. But the Kog'Ma is the only, the only one that TSM has to deal with and they have the tools to dive in and deal with that and also they have the Braum to uh, block any of the damage coming out of Kog'Ma so it, there's a lot more pressure on TSM now they see that Braum yeah that's that's really really good by TSM I'm actually pretty happy with that I'm a TSM fan so uh, engage wise so Maokai Echo, I like Maokai more than Nar because the target it engage, especially when you're dealing with uh, with a Kogma, so you just have to click on him and go, and then Azir can always go in, but uh, Echo, if he gets the slow, he gets in, he has the zone control. It's uh, it's pretty good, and you got follow up with Brahm all that can run. What about Team Liquid? Elise. Team Liquid's got more pick. They don't really have engage. Nar can jump in. That's it. That's pretty much it. It's not very strong. So TSM's actually getting this. Um, poke and heal. I always like... I like raiding Kog'Maw as stronger poke. Also Nar boomerang. It's always relevant. Echo has his poke, but... Uh, no one really has heal. So we, we are giving this Team Liquid. It's mainly the Kog'Ma poke. Even though it's the 80 carry Kog'Ma, it's not as strong. It, it's still pretty good. And also the Lulu Qs, it's, it's alright. And it, it's definitely stronger than what TSM is bringing to the table. Uh, Non-committal CC, this is definitely Team Liquid. Team Liquid has the makings to pick, but... Although they have the makings to pick... They don't really have the best follow-up. They basically they need to hit if they get those picks. They need Kogma to be there, and they need Kogma to you know be auto attacking, and hopefully follow up with the other CC like a Elise Cocoon do a Thresh Hook, and then Brom has to not like jump in front of it. So the Brom kills a lot of that pick potential. Uh, engaged pressure, it should be on Team Liquid, but. If Kogma does get sort of ahead, uh, for whatever reason, it, it's going to be moved towards TSM. But TSM has the ability to do that, so this is not too well. Uh, talk about this fight a little bit here. Mm. I feel like TSM have a few options how they want to approach this situation. 
they could use Braum as kind of like a shield for Kogma and just use Braum to try to nullify all of Kogma's damage while the rest of the team are sort of dealing with Lulu, Elise, and Nar and killing everybody. Um, or they can go for the all out dive onto Kogma. But and, and that's just Maokai running in with Echo. They could even build damage on Maokai and Echo and just use them to dive in. Um, but again, they have Azir with his pressure, so he can just you know summon his soldiers. They zone him out. If they set up on objectives, they zone out Kogma. Since the Azir soldiers, you know, you can only put them one place. But the good thing with against to protect the Kogma cop is you only have one person you really have to zone. Then Jinx can work on uh, pressuring Lulu, pressuring uh, Elise, or anyone else that sort of comes in. Jinx can deal with while uh, Azir can fully focus on the Kogma, and the rest of his team comp can deal with the other things that aren't really that big of a, uh, an issue for him. So, uh, TSM, they can uh, either dive or zone. They can either dive or zone. That's the, the big thing. And those two options are pretty... It's pretty good. I prefer the zoning option because that's kind of what Azir is excelling at now. But zoning is... Zoning is not how mid laners are typically played. They're typically trying to get in and burst somebody. So, like, you can play Azir that way. And that's the dive. And I, I'm expecting to see that more from TSM. Sort of a dive instead of a pressure. Uh, Team Liquid... <sighs> It's to protect the Kog'Maw. They buff Kog'Maw, they speed up Kog'Maw, they try to get picks and they try to uh, uh, shoot down the picks. But again, Kog'Maw's not going to outrange Jinx or Azir. So he's not actually going to have the major benefit and it's going to be pretty tough. Nar is going to, Nar is kind of their only engage, so if they don't get a pick, Nar is going to have to jump in, teleport in, and teleport flank. Or teleport engage, not teleport flank. There's a big difference between teleport engage and flank. But uh, uh, we're gonna go nar engage. Uh, Telly nar. Yeah. Telly nar. Telly nar and Kogma kind of kills whoever. Nar, nar is the biggest advantage Team Liquid's gonna have to put pressure on to TSM that will allow Kogma the freedom to keep attacking. Uh, no one else... T Team Liquid can't be afraid of Maokai and Echo. They have to rely on Lulu's shields to protect Kogma from Maokai and Echo so that Kogma can deal the damage to the people that are actually going to kill him. Uh, hopefully Thresh and Lulu We'll just save Kogma and keep him alive long enough. This, oh, the TSM has exhaust too. So TSM can just exhaust Kogma. And, yeah. They can't let that happen. So now they, they have to watch out for Braum too. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. This is... TSM on pressure, TSM on engage, Team Liquid on poke, Team Liquid uh, non-commit's kind of equal. Um... But they do have the pick. Even they don't really have a follow-up. Uh, Team Liquid has to engage. That's more for TSM. Um, TSM's fight. I don't know. It's eh. I don't know. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot more going for TSM here than Team Liquid. So, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I I gotta go with it. It's like this is like a 75 percent for TSM, even though Team Liquid's range is not the pressure advantage is not as big, but like the engage and the dual pressure is why it's like it's as big. That's what we're just gonna we're just gonna go with TSM 75 percent. But, yeah, let's stick with it.